coming right up. The 76ers taking on the Nuggets for the 76ers. They've won just four games out of their last 10, and they know they can do better. This team has talent, and they'll try to bring it together and get things back on track with a win. Nuggets, Sixers, just moments away right after this. Thank you for tuning into this Sunday afternoon 2K Sports Edition of the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. D.A. will join us tonight on the sideline. D.A., take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Tobias Harris, since he was 10 years old, has spent the summer training with George the Iceman Gervin in San Antonio. Harris said, having him in my ear has helped my game and made me love the game even more. And Gervin says, I'm his coach as far as putting that ball in the hole. And he's a good student, too. Kevin? David, that's one of my most favorite stories you've ever told from our sideline. Thank you for that. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Look at Philadelphia. Right now, they're in seventh in the conference, looking to build on their record. And seeing where the 76ers are, their slow start to this season has brought some of this team's issues to light. And this is a team that I didn't think had any issues to speak of. Neither did I, but clearly they're not the dominant force we thought they'd be. They've got some kinks to work out for sure. Now the starting group for the Denver Nuggets. Will Barton is out there with Morris. And it's Nikola Jokic. And it's Green. And it's Gordon in at the small forward position. And for the 76ers, Maxi out there with Curry. Then it's Shake Milton. Then there's Andre Drummond. And it's Harris in at the four spot. And so here we go, the 76ers to start it. And Greg, in terms of personnel, not exactly the matchups we were expecting to see. And with all the injuries, some guys are stepping into some unfamiliar roles. But in some ways, that makes tonight all the more intriguing. This is his first free throw of the game. Shake Milton. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. You throw good, Milton. All three throws good for Milton. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Morris passes to Gordon. The shot's good on the Aaron assist Gordon. by Morris. And Gordon's jumping ability combined with his reach make him a difficult matchup for any defense, especially when he's operating in the post. And with Aaron Gordon, we knew about his high-flying acrobatics. But at his age, still seeking more consistency. Given his talent, he must continue to get better. Now, here's Green. Nine points, last game out. Pass to Gordon. Over Milton. Misses off the right eye. Now, here's Maxie. Covered by Morris. Maxie passes to Harris. Driving to the basket. And slam dunk by Harris. Big man coming through. Have to enjoy watching Harris attack the rack with that kind of ferocity. Greg, there's no question Gordon has game, especially remembering some of those tough contests he was in. 
an impressive athlete, no doubt. And his outside shot has improved. Now he's got to concentrate on scoring more for his team. Now here is Harris following the miss by Jokic. Drummond with a screen on green. And Drummond throws it down. Oh, well, that fancy alley-oop right there. That move by Drummond, the result of excellent communication with his teammates. Morris passes to Gordon. Morris outside. Does not find the basket. His second miss. He's now one for three. Now here's Maxi covered by Morris. Drummond with a screen on Gordon. Here's Milton driving inside. Off target at the rim. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. To the left wing. Six to shoot. Outside Gordon. A three. It's hauled in by Harris. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Passes it to Maxi. Pass to Milton from downtown. And the 76ers get it back. Jokic with it. He's picked up by Drummond. Barton against Curry. Now the pass to Gordon. Happy to see that one go in for his second make in five attempts. Now you got to remember, Barton isn't just a scorer. This guy is also superb at finding open teammates. Green against Harris. Pass to Milton. Just five on the clock. With the drive, and the shot goes in. Challenging the bigger defender, cutting him down to size. Well, the size mismatch is no problem for this fella, guys. I mean, how much do you like seeing that aggressiveness from him? Changes for Philadelphia. Brady's checked in for Drummond. Coach Nian comes in for Harris. And it's Quirk Moss in for Shake Milton. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Here's Dozier, currently averaging almost six points a game. Pass to Composo. Nailed from three-point land. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. Perhaps he's set for a big night. I mean, he can be a difference maker for him when he's on his game. Now, here's Maxi. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Six on the shot clock. Shoots from the high post. 
No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. The 76ers have gone 3 of 7 from the field since we've gotten underway. Here's Korkmaz. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Here's Niang. On deep. It's tipped. And that massive wingspan coming into play there. Ball uses it to perfection to block shots. One oh seven left to play in the first quarter. Rivers against Kurt. Rivers surveying the D. Five on the clock. Pass to Dozier. And there's the drive. The shot's good. PJ really Dozier. nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. And here's Curry who brings it up for Philadelphia. They trail by one. The pass to Maxi. 35 seconds left here in the opening quarter. A three-pointer is right on target. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Here's Dozier. Green, the screen. Shoots from 12. Campazzo. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Now, here's Maxi. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Nice to the hoop. And slam dunk by Maxi. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, GA, the pick working to full effect before the stop. And you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. And that concludes the first quarter of play. The 76ers lead by four. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. And the 2021 League MVP, Nikola Jokic, discussed what brought him to this point. The hustle work, you know, every day, twice a day. Just go out there on the court and do whatever you need to do to get better, you know. And that's what I did. He did indeed. Those long hours, Greg, in the gym are something the fans don't always recognize. And even for a player like the Joker, who seems like a savant with the ball, it all comes back to the work. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And looking at what we've seen from the 76ers, what do you guys think? You got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. So out there for the Nuggets right now. We've got Monte Morris. Jokic is out there with Green. Then it's Aaron Gordon. And it's Barton in a two guard. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Nuggets, when healthy, are one of the league's elite teams. Aaron Gordon says we have championship aspirations. When you've got the Joker, you have a chance to win every single night. If we play our best, we have a good chance to go as far as we want to. Guys, I just want to go as far as throwing it back to you. You can throw it to us anytime, and he is the defending MVP and plenty of players around Jokic. David, thanks. They are for real. Mark, you had excellent handles for a front court player. How much of a benefit is it for a big man to be comfortable with the dribble, with the ball in his hand? I think it's so valuable. And now it's a dozen to a dozen big guys can put it on the ground. I mean, it used to be two out of a dozen guys you'd see six, eight or better that could really handle the ball in my day. But now it's uh, 
commonplace, and it's a valuable skill. My dad, my late dad, emphasized that from the time I started playing organized basketball. Make sure you can go with the ball where you want to against pressure. If you can do that, then you'll always add value to your team as a big guy. You know, we talk a lot about athleticism, guys. It's important, and right there, Harris used his well to create for himself. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. You know, Clark, there's a patience to Morris's game that gives this team confidence. And I like it too, Kevin. I mean, he makes really excellent reads and never seems to be in a hurry or playing outside of himself. And he can orchestrate with the best of them. And the first one drops. That one is no good. And along with terrific production, Harris is an interesting team leader. Very positive in his approach. Now, here's Curry. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And Andre Drummond, the bucket on the assist by Curry. Drummond's got the lead up to seven now for Philadelphia. And Greg Harris has grown more vocal as his comfort level on the team has risen. And Kevin, he's always had it in him. Now that he's a veteran, he's earned the right. He always seems to bring the guys together. Now, here's Curry. Jeff Green missing his last shot. Curry finds Milton. Truman with a screen on Barton. Here's Milton. And it's sent back by Jokic. Need more of this from Jokic. When he's active on defense, he's a capable shot blocker. Look at this little fella going in there and eating up some glass. Morris with the ball. He's picked up by Drummond. And Jokic slams it in. This and no doubt to they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one hand hole punch. Let's it go from deep. Down it goes. Nice one there from Niang. Niang's got six points. And that assist got him a little nod Denver from his teammate after that one. All right, fans, on your feet, make some noise. Who wants to share? All right, coming out to the court right now, it's your Sixers and team. Sixers with some changes. Reedy's checked in for Andre Drummond. Korkmaz comes in for George Niang. And Maxi subbed in for Shake Milton. Denver with the ball. Eight-point game. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Chicago. Yeah, I mean, they had their chances, competed deep into that game, but 
Had a few lulls there that just kind of took them down. And you know, those are the kind of games that staying in that bad taste lingers. Knowing you were in it, but not coming through down the stretch, those are hard to get over sometimes. You know, you don't always get that opportunity, so those are the ones you hate to miss. Outside curl. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. We've got 155 left to play in the first half. Off target there, that would have pushed the lead to double digits. Rivers can't get it to go. Philadelphia leading by eight. Harris with it. Sneaked up by Rivers. Pass to Maxi. The feed to Harris. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Boy, that's an outstanding job by Tobias Harris there, keeping his composure and concentration, then converting while under pressure. Well done. First team foul. One shot. At the line for Philadelphia, Tobias Harris. At the line for one. That's good from Harris. And you watch Harris. He's been playing with a high level of confidence. Well, Greg, he puts the work in during the offseason. It's obvious. That's why his game looks like it comes easier to him now because he's refined it through his work in the offseason. And in a lot of ways, he's bearing the fruit of that labor, and it's fun to see. Now, here's Curry. Here's Maxi. A shot off that time. And the Nuggets going the other way. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. It's stolen by Curry. Passes to Maxi. Takes it inside. Denver grabs the miss. That matchup falls in the middle game of this three-game trip. Here's Dozier. Down low. Here's Bull. One up, one down. Bowl, Two points bowl. with his first shot this game. Yeah, inside, Bull does a great job just making subtle adjustments and utilizing that length. Axie passes to Harris. Curry on the wing. Read a screen. Curry, good. Curry's got the lead up to 11 now for the 76ers. So good at figuring out ways to get inside. Seth Curry working on improving this part of his game. Composo from outside off the mark. And so it's Philadelphia holding on to an 11 point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving up very few easy points. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks a lot, guys. With Mike Malone, as the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? Execution, pace and purpose with everything that we do, uh, and making sure that when we call a set, we know what we're trying to accomplish and get the ball to where our players can be effective. We'll see if they can fix that in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Welcome. First up, let's look at the two guys who are each leading their respective teams through the first half. We've got a heavyweight clash on our hands. This is a star-driven league. You've got two fierce leaders going head-to-head. -head. Both guys trading blows as each one tries to will his own team to victory. So get some fresh popcorn ready. And now let's take a look at the excellent first half we've seen so far for the Philadelphia 76ers. They're going to work in the paint, doing a great job. A good portion of their offense was generated inside. Really outperformed their opponent in that aspect. I expect the defense to pack it in a little more in the second half and try to force those guys to stay outside. And that'll do it for our halftime show. Let's get you back out to the game. Where's Crafty? Where's my mac and cheese? Right there with you, brother. I need my kale salad, though. Kale salad, mac and cheese. Veritable twins. I'm opting for the uh, blue cheese lasagna. Ooh, what is that? And the 
there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Nice game, great performance by Harris. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. Yeah, you know what? I think he's doing exactly what he has to do, using his body, shaking off contact, and then finishing at the rim. Tobias Harris is out there with Shake Milton. Then it's Curry. Then there's Maxi, And it's Drummond in at the five. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Count that one. Aaron Gordon. Gordon's got the first bucket of the third here for the Nuggets. And, and you know what, guys? Gordon's jump shot has come a long way. And he keeps on looking more and more confident taking these. Green against Harris. Inside. And there's Drummond. That's good on the assist by Harris. Drummond's got six points. Yeah, it's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Barton, wide open. He fires. That three off the mark. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Now, here's Maxi. Covered by Morris. Here's Milton. Off the left rim and out. The Nuggets trail by 11. Barton dishes to Morris. Barton sets a screen for Morris. And stolen by Drummond. And now Philadelphia on the break. Here's Milton. Good, and Curry gets the assist. He's got nine. A precision pass with Curry, also excellent in seeing his guys when they're open. Morris outside. Here's Jokic. Unable to get that one. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. After this one, they're off to Sacramento to take on the Kings. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. Curry on the wing. Harris outside. Pass to Milton. Shot clock at six. Kicks to Drummond. The 76ers need to get off a shot. Harris's shot is off. And so it's Morris with it. He'll bring it up for the Nuggets. They trail by 14. Jokic rebound by the 76ers. Drummond's got rebound number eight now on the night. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Now here is Harris. He's got seven. He feeds it to Drummond, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Drummond's got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, that's good vision from Harris. I mean, he draws so much attention himself, so he's become a capable passer. If you look at the leaders in rebounding, it's almost a sure thing that Drummond's name is going to be near the top of that list. That's the kind of impact on the boards he's made over his career. Softly drops in the floater. And the 76ers lead by 18. How sweet is that little teardrop right there, whether it's Steph or Seth, which is the case this time. With Curry's, they've got that shot on auto dial. Now, here's Jokic. Combining around 26 and a half points a game rarely has an off night. And Greg, when it comes to players who've led the league in rebounding, very few have done it as many times as Drummond. And the, the guys that have done it more than twice, like Andre, I've got some good news for him. Every one of them is either in the Hall of Fame or soon will be. Martin left side. Shot to stop the run. And it's good on the way in. Martin's got his first two points. Excellent body control around the rim. Barton didn't let the defender distract him at all. And Philadelphia decides to take their first timeout right here. You know, Greg, it is amazing. The total effect Jokic has on the game. And he's usually top five in triple-doubles. He's really worked on his defense. And the scary part is he's still only in his mid-20s.
and changes for Philadelphia. Reed is checked in for Andre Drummond. George Niang comes in for Tobias Harris. And it's Quirkmize in for Seth Curry. Pass to Milton. Now here's Maxi. He's guarded by Rivers. Pass to Court Mons. The 76ers with another miss. 152 left to play in the third. Denver passing it around. Passes it to Composo. Four on the clock. Green, the pass to Dozier. That one doesn't go. And the 76ers go the other way with it. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. As NBA revenues climb into the tens of billions of dollars, teams have even more resources to compete. Staffs are growing, more coaches, and trainers, and specialists, so general managers have more to manage than ever. Generally, the best organizations are those that effectively collaborate and communicate across the board. Kevin? And DA, as we know, that's always been the case. Thank you. Green, the screen. Now here's Rivers. He's tightly guarded. Tries again. Green breaking loose. Dozier can't get it to go. Yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he's shot so poorly. Milton with it. Over Rivers. A shot by Milton, no good. You know, it hasn't been his best outing, but they still find themselves in the driver's seat here. Dozier kicks to Rivers. There's 14 seconds left in the third. Pass to Gordon. Looking to get it going, and it's good on the way over. Gordon's got four points in the quarter. And Gordon is a guy who's used to being bodied. I mean, he just kind of plays through it, shrugging off the contact and ignoring it, really. And so it's Philadelphia in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm Assist of the Game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. Come on, man. Fourth quarter. Out of your and we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Taking a look at the Nuggets. We've got Will Barton. Green is out there with Gordon. And it's Nikola Jokic. And it's Morris in a point guard. Now here's Drummond. Maxi passes to Kerr. There's the pick. Shoots from the elbow. Rebound by Jeff Green. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Barton against Kerr. Barton, no luck. The 76ers leading by 16. Maxi passes to Drummond. Harris outside. Drummond in the post. He's against Jokic. And Drummond throws it down. Well, a little contact will not deter Drummond. I mean, he gets physical right back and finishes strong. Jokic with his screen on Curry. Barton kicks to Jokic.
And it's sent back by Drummond. And there's the pass to Maxi. Drummond working against Gordon. And it's Drummond missing. The Nuggets trail by 18. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. Jogic finds Green. In the corner, it's Gordon. Green with a screen for Gordon. Pass to Jokic. Launches a three. Trains the three-pointer. Look at that stroke on Jokic's three-point shot. And I like the way he releases it so high. Makes it tough for defenders to get to it. He's not a really nimble guy, but he's got a lot of grace in this game. The Nuggets have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Passes it to Gordon. The shot's good on the Aaron assist Gordon. by Morris. Morris has got three assists now in this one. Defense really working hard to stop Gordon, but he's a skilled big man who knows how to use his body, especially in the paint. Now here is Harris. Drummond with a screen on Green. To the middle. Drummond in the post. Covered by Green. And that one's good. Drummond. Tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys, and the best game plan right now. It's elementary. Just keep feeding him. Let him eat. Jokic sets the screen for Barton. Can't hit that one. Good D by Drummond. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Maxi passes to Harris. Here's Korkmaz, guarded by Green. Pass to Maxi. It's up a three. And it's Denver with the rebound. Morris looking over the floor. Here's the pass to Jokic. Jokic with his screen on Kirk. Here's Barton. Second chance shot, and it's sent back by Drummond. Drummond likes to be in the middle of the action at both ends of the floor, playing defense and gobbling up rebounds. He makes a lot of good defensive plays. Now here's Drummond. It's hauled in by Gordon. Gordon's got his fourth rebound in this one. In the corner, it's Morris. Back to Gordon. A minute 50 left in the fourth. Goes up again. He takes Aaron it up Gordon. and lays it in. Gordon's got four points now in the quarter. Well, you know what I like to say? Persistence pays. And with Gordon, he's the kind of guy who just does not rest on the glass. Now Harris. Drummond sets the screen for Harris. Popped up there for Drummond. And Drummond throws it down. Late in the game. Big, they continue to attack. I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up, but it is time for them to start using that clock a bit. Aaron Gordon, one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Here's Max. Denver getting their last shot to go. Back to Harris. Now, here's Maxi, covered by Morris. Nuggets are gone. 4 of 10 here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. And, and so only one team answered the bell tonight, guys. Not a monster blowout by any means, but still a double-digit victory for the 76ers. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. And they're going to close them out here for the second time this year. This gives them a season series lead of 2-0 with just one game left to play against the Nuggets. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Trumman. Well, he was swatting shots all game long. Really Jeff owned Green. the defensive end and got a ton of blocks and really protected that rim.
And here's Maxi. So the 76ers win it even early on in this one. It seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. A big a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by Corson. David. Support is what makes this possible. Thanks very much, Seth. Please. Satisfying home awesome. win. What does the support feel like in front of these fans? Oh, it's great. Great home court. They bring that energy every game. Uh, even when we're struggling. So, uh, I mean, it's much appreciated. And it, it felt good to get this one for It was a team effort and a crowd effort as well. Congrats. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Ohm, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And now we present the New Balance Player of the Game, Andre Drummond.